and has elected to receive. Serena looking for a clean start here in what is her 17th consecutive fourth round appearance at the US Open. Well, I can tell you that despite all the hype that has surrounded her and the hopes that for so many people that she wins another Grand Slam, I bet she is a little nervous on me. But if you have a serve like that, you've got an awful lot to rely on. <laughs> Husband? He's a good tennis watcher, isn't he? He's calm but engaged. I think he's a really good influence on her. how many fourth rounds she's played at the US Open. This is her 58th Grand Slam fourth round. And it's just an extraordinary record of consistency over almost two decades now. Game if you're a Kanepi fan, that's an ominous start mm -hmm. by the six-time champion. First game. It's interesting you say how nervous Serena is. I've done a few of those pre-match interviews, particularly at the start of the year when they used to have them down in Australia. Couldn't get over how tense she was. I mean, you, you wouldn't expect it, but I think the, the insight does not reflect how she presents herself on a tennis court. Well, there have been some of these tournaments, like when she was playing as a ranker in the final. And it's, I mean, let's go back even further. When she lost to Stosa, I mean, she was a bundle of nerves. But you can show, be sure that her opponent is a what a bigger bundle of nerves. A, a notch or, or two up on the on the nerve on the top. Yeah, <laughs> right. Injuries have always held Kaya back. Dusan Vemic, who was a, he's a Serbian actually, former tour player, it was a very good, very good on the men's doubles tour actually, he just ranked oh, outside oh. the top 30. He's been working with us sort of on and off really. They had a, a little go at things at the end of last season and then again sort of through the American summer. It's a pity for Kanepi that she didn't make that shot because it, you feel it's going to be a whole lot better of a match if Kanepi can settle her nerves early in this match. It, 
It seems to me that many players go like, up against Serena without a game plan. What do you feel Kanepi has to do early on? Well, the interesting thing is, I, I mean, I'll try and think of something intelligent to say about that. <laughs> but I heard that she was practicing before with somebody who used to be one of Serena's practice partners, so she understood a little bit of the, the favored shots from Serena. That's the sort of shot you suddenly get a chance and you're so anxious to make a really good shot that you can overhead. Yeah, that's what Serena does to everyone, isn't it? She makes you feel like you've got to hit an extra extra 1%, 2% on every shot and that's when you can make a lot of errors. Exactly. Kanepi, five minutes gone, already in trouble here. Serena looks sharp, and it's Williams who gets the early break. Williams leads two games to love for sets. It's a very confident start from Serena. I mean, that, that good serving in the first game really helped her, gave her the luxury of just relaxing a little bit and being able to do whatever she could do this game. So helps to know that you can trust your serve. Sam, I don't think I can really give you a good answer on how you go on court against uh, Serena, other than I would serve most of my serves into her body mm -hmm. because, uh, I mean, you get her right on either side and she just hits clean winners. So, well, I mean, there you go. She had an angle and she could have gone either way and either way if she'd gone down the line or that one cross court was going to be a huge winner I, you have to be able to mix it up against her and throw in some junk i mean if you remember <laughs> how uh, roberta vinci played against her and beat her on this very court but something actually you alluded to uh, right right at the start when we were chatting about this match is about getting the ball away from serena it's what it's really the, your only option because she's not as she isn't as quick as she was a few years ago it's very hard to do that You've really got to be in control of each point, uh, of each shot, really, so that you just a little bit ahead of her. Because if she's pushing you on your back feet, you're not going to move her around. See, I think Kanepi was doing quite well keeping it up the middle of the court, though. I mean, when you haven't got it anything better to do. That last shot from Kanepi, she gave Serena a nice angle. So it's a challenge to move her around without giving her the angles she likes. Perfect start from Serena Williams and how quickly she jumps out to a three love lead first set. Williams leads three games to love first set. Love team. Mm. That really was a feature against Sister Venus on Friday night. How aggressive she was against the second serve. Doesn't matter whether she's playing in the day session or the night session. She's Serena Williams, and she's striking it beautifully. Kanepi struggling to get points. Just got three points so far out of 13 for Serena. I 
first shot that Kanepi actually hit a little bit of a better shot. Backhand and forehand are absolutely fine shots from Kanepi, but she's got to be able to relax and get a little energized. I think the tension is really just completely bogging her down at the moment. Neppy had given her a bit of a slice, but it wasn't, it didn't have any heaviness to it. It sat up and gave Serena any number of options. Neppy also petrified probably being on this court. And showing the sort of nerves that she didn't show on Armstrong. And don't forget, she beat the world number one and top seed right at the start of this tournament. She didn't look as uptight as she does now. Game Williams. It's all Serena. Serena contingent. They're all happy. Mum and uh, Oracine and Isha, they're back. They didn't come to watch uh, Venus and Serena. They can't bear it. And I do hope they were sort of holed up in their hotel suite, watching a nice sort of rom-com or something like that with a glass of wine. Serena is basically not having to do anything except uh, look at the ball, watch the ball and get it in the middle of her strings, which she's doing so well. Well. well, her serving numbers have been superb. Against Venus, 10 aces, just three double faults, won almost 90% of the points behind her first serve. I mean, immaculate tennis from Serena. 40 <laughs> 106 miles an hour, but it's such a rhythmic serve. I mean, you know how she's always saying, Serena's always saying, I, I want to do what Roger's done. And it's funny, I think she's just added a little Roger-esque into her serve, the rocking yeah, motion. Williams. Three aces in the game, and Serena is racing through this opening set. Five love, five love double break, the former champion leads. Williams. Right now, Kaya Kanepi making a guest appearance on Serena Williams' court. Oh, that's in too. Serena actually probably would like her to play a little longer because it gives her an opportunity to show off <laughs> Serena's own wares. I mean, she's not even having to give us everything. Five games in five minutes. Well, a little longer, I do exaggerate, but it seems like that. She's just, she's just walking onto Kanepi's second serve. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was right into the head zone, right into the forehand. You don't want to be missing first serves against her. Golly, if it goes on like this, Kanepi will be getting embarrassed. Nothing worse than playing on a major court and unable to do anything. It's pretty full house, too. Oh. 
Well, it's what all the greats do to the lower-ranked players, the Grafs, the Sellers, the Navratilovas, the Everts. We've moved along rather quickly this afternoon. Set point for Williams. Serena not hanging about in the day session. And it's Serena who takes this opening set by six games to love. Using myself by saying that it's Kanepi who should be given a love set just as a handicap to even this match out and then be for Serena to be a set down and then see what she can do. Just becoming quite a difficult shot, as a matter, matter of fact, as it hit the tape, and Serena doing absolutely the right thing, taking it in the air. Look at the reaction, though, to losing her seventh point of the match. She wants perfection out there. First time that Kanepi has uh, got Serena out of her comfort zone. She was just moving the other way and had to readjust. So, what's this? A little tiny window for Kanepi. usually get shot very quickly that wasn't even a first serve it was a perfect second serve 99 mph that's perfectly adequate as a first serve if it's placed so well 40, it's also a serve that is a nigh on impossible to read that's what all accounts from every player they say that the ball toss is exactly the same and even Serena says sometimes she doesn't make up her mind where she's going to serve it until she throws the ball up I mean how does anyone stand a chance be redundant to say that that's one of the keys to great serving is to have the identical ball toss and then to use your wrist just at the last minute to redirect it one up for the books first pressure that Williams has faced in this opening 20 minutes or so That's a point for Estonia. 
a great start and quite a relief for Kai Kanepi from this second set. Well, you know, Kaya is a tough cookie. As you mentioned, she's had, a, she's had a lot of injuries. When she turned 30, she must have felt her body was just falling apart. And she had Epstein-Barr, which is almost like a glandular fever. That makes you feel terrible. And she had plantar fasciitis in both feet. I don't know if you've ever had plantar oh, yeah. fasciitis. It's, it's inflammation, really, of all the tissue that connects the heel to the toe. So it's right the way under your foot. And you feel like you're walking on hot coals. And you know, she's hardly played any tennis in 2016 and had to go back to the trenches last year to get her ranking back up, and, and she's done that. Oh, yeah, that was in. No, uh, she's had plenty of other injuries as, as well. well. Yeah. That serve, her, her serve out wide on the forehand court is not quite right. I mean, it's such a great serve that's utilized by so many players to get the opponent out wide and open up the court but if you don't get it quite right it gets punished so many of these great players you, you know they're so good that they tend to be front runners and they tend not to have a lot of, I mean, it sounds a bit weird, but they don't have a lot of pressure because the other opponent isn't really competing with them. But one of the big difficulties is getting into a position that you can make them a little edgy. It's taken Kanepi a set to settle out here on Ash. Her first run out of 2018 here on this stadium court. And, you know, she's in her 30s. She's played a lot of top players. She's made six Grand Slam quarterfinals, two here. She's not going to be easily shaken off. Yeah, I've always thought with her that she should be a lot more successful of a tennis player than she is. Better second serve. You know, as long as Kanepi doesn't totally lose heart after that first set, she must realize that it's pretty nigh impossible for anybody to play up perfectly all the time. You almost wonder if that first set was too perfect yeah. for Williams. You know, if you win a first set six love or you lose it six love, it's just not it's not really realistic. Okay, oh. And can it be starting to light up now? Can it be two games to love now, second set? We might we're gonna get carried away. We might just have a tennis match here early on in this second set. Well finally she anticipated that return. First set, she was just looking at them, saying, I'm not ready for that or that or that. <laughs> Perfect serve. She has such good rhythm on her serve. Every single serve. And, you know, it's not like she's forcing it. I mean, it's, it's just the momentum of the serve, the nice slow take back, and then the acceleration as she reaches up.
Martini. Kaya a little late reading that one. I think Canabi's got to take a few chances in her anticipation. I mean, which way was uh, Williams going to go? She was probably going to go across court with that particular strut, so Canabi should have taken a bit of a chance. 40 Conditions aren't quite as ideal as they were on Friday night against Venus, where it was a lot more humid, but it's a little, it is a little blustery out there this afternoon on this Labor Day weekend. Three aces in the game shows that Serena's getting her teeth stuck into this second set. But after having won the first, it's Kanepi up Kenepi a break in the second. very high didn't she in that first mm. set difficult to live up to and there's just a sort of light murmur going around this sash stadium yeah it's just a uh, one or two errors creeping into serena's well that will make kaya feel a whole lot better better well that was the serve you were asking for wasn't yeah. it just cut up a little higher in the line yeah I, I mean that one was actually quite deep into the corner one that's really effective is when you get it like almost halfway from the net to the service line on the outside line Dushand uh, at the moment also coaching Andrea Petkovic. A lot, of, a lot of players he's age coach sharing to try and reduce the cost. That's two very different personalities he's got to deal with. Love was looking pretty good for Kanepi. 40 30 is not looking nearly so good. Well, the serving has to be right out of the top draw for Kanepi just to compete here, and that's what she delivered in that last game. And she maintains her break advantage. Something you mentioned, Virginia, right at the start of the match. Now that she's, you know, got her feet right and she's feeling better, she looks the fittest I think we have ever seen her. No question. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. There were some years when she did not, when Kaya did not look particularly fit. But I still don't. I would like to see her. I mean, I know we. Uh, I mean, we can say so many things about Serena, but I would. And they're all good, but I would like to see Kaya sort of making herself move a little bit. Uh, you know she's she's quite as uh, she's quite static, isn't she, down the other end? Yeah, I mean they call her composed, but composed to to a fault at the moment. That's that's the sort of thing she needs to do. I mean, I, I missed by quite a <laughs> quite a big margin, but she's that's one of the best ways of getting the nerves out. You know, hustle your feet or clobber the ball and hope for the best. Yeah, the Mets would like that one, I think. Just over the way. Wow. The aces are just flowing almost in double figures, and he wouldn't bet against her hitting another one straight down the tee to finish off this game. That's how she likes to close. Softers of touches to ice the game. It's Serena 
Still behind in this second set. Kineppi, 3 2 with the break. Three games to two second sets. First set, Williams. Just getting a little taste of what Kaya Kanepi is capable of. She's not given many chances to show off here. If something's on to hit, do you, do you want us to see her be that aggressive or do you want to see her continue to trade and wait for the opening? No, I think uh, her game is, um, when she hits the ball aggressively, it's a, it's a thing of, it's fantastic. I mean, I think that's an extremely valid uh, question, Sam, because should she take it a little bit off the ball and hit with a bit more topspin, a bit more margin of error, and hope to get herself in? In this particular case, her game is to clobber the ball. But I, don't, I haven't liked her footwork, her energy in her footwork. And that last point... She was much more alert. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if you're nervous, the nerves can manifest themselves in different ways. Sometimes you're just really flabby and you haven't any energy. Other times you're heavy. So you have to understand what's happening and find, a, find even a trick to counter that. Williams making rather heavy weather of this second set. Kenny Pennings, four games to two, second set. The Estonian, who was the first Estonian ever to break the world's top 20, that was six years ago. She is uh, putting in some good service games here. And obviously one of the questions for Serena is, will she be the same effective, brilliant player if somebody challenges her? I mean, if a few of those shots went over. Well, no one's taken a set so far. Lynette of Poland, Witov of Germany, and of course, Sister Venus, and none of them really could lay a hand on her in the opening three rounds. Oh, I mean, you, everyone is a different player when you're challenged. Open the court up. Serena stretching for that ball, so obviously not going to be able to cover that one, which is perfect. And that's the first serve that she's forced a little bit. Serena said that many thought and she thought she might be more relaxed after becoming a mother and she says no, not at all. She wants it more and she's training even harder than before. 40, Just missed, I think. Oh no, that's no, good. she's okay. It's good. But the passion now is, is coming from Williams. Alex Ohanian, her husband, they married in a lavish ceremony at the end of last year in New Orleans. 
and uh, he's fitted very well into the tennis family. Be getting right for you this last or 20 or so minutes once again i'm going to say it's her energy level she's uh, adrenaline is in, in the right place now it's a she's still i mean i've seen her miss a couple of shots just in this game which oh, that's a tough return and she's made that one as well just she's just hitting her stride Maybe too little, too late, but we shall see. But she hustled over here. This is what I've been hoping she manages to do. I mean, you just feel for them, the players, when they're being thrashed out there. Here comes Kaya. It's unlikely, but if Simona Halep is around her TV screen at the moment, she's going to be saying to those sitting with her, now you see what I had to face on day one. Yeah, whereas in the first set she was thinking, can you believe I'm not there myself? Chance here for the double break for the Estonian. Can she, can she be all over this one? She's got to challenge that one. Mm. First time we've gone to the chase review. There is a and it was called out, a late call. Tricky one to call. So Serena now wants to take a look at it. I, how did you see it? I saw it maybe just missing, but it's look, it's so close. Game, can you beat? And that is a double break. A first fault for can Williams. And it's 5-2 for Kanepi, second, Kenepi, set. second set. First set. have a point from Serena Williams almost like half volleying that forehand so anxious to take it early Shot again. Serena just inside the baseline. I mean, that's how fearsome she's trying to be. These two, though, they, they've played this last 50 minutes at quite a lick, haven't they? <laughs> Goodness me. Helps to get a first serve in. One eighty percent of the points in this set when she's got her first serve in. Dramatically lower when she hasn't. Got it. Fifteen fourteen. There is a, a fury from the Williams racket right now. A 
couple of chances to get one of the breaks back. Which it does. Good game. How quickly they're going at it on this Arthur Ashe Stadium. The change around from that first set has been so extreme. Well, when you're going to be preparing to play a tennis match, you have to be prepared for everything. The best and the worst. Very few double faults through this tournament so far. Clean against Lynette, just a couple in her second round, and three against Venus in the third. One in at 116. That's fairly decent first serve. She made just two unforced errors in that opening set. It's ring at 12 in the second. So where's she going to serve up wide? Favorite. Wow. I think finally Kanepi actually anticipated correctly. But she, how many balls has Kanepi hit? Big ones, which, which have gone out by maybe two or three inches. of backhand there. Oh. Yes. Well, you can get very hung up on numbers, but I'm being told that Kenepi's average return speed in the first set was 51 miles an hour. Now it's gone up to over 70 in the second set. I mean, she has very visibly up things out here. Well, that was a story about the speed at which she was hitting some returns in her opening match against Halep. Oh, that was a bullet. Yeah, they'll be getting over 80 at the moment. I mean, she can clock it. Can they be wishing that serve had been called in? That's an absolutely perfect serve. Well, we're finding out about Serena right now, aren't you? What you said, Virginia, you find out when the champions are being challenged, what they come up with. Williams still competitive in this second set, but it's Kanepi who will have another chance to serve for it. 5 4, Kenepi she leads after having dropped the first.
second bite of the cherry for Kaya Kennepi to try and take this match into a third set. First time she would have ever done so against Williams in their five meetings. <laughs> Serena has other ideas. Well, it's Serena pulling up with some amazing shots here. Lost your previous service game. A little bit of question of question mark comes into what serve you use. 15, Happy praying for a big first serve, hopefully an ace for an easy shot. I mean, otherwise, those have been crushing shots from Serena. The Estonian still with a break point to face in this game. Mrs. Williams is changing the call. And the left mm. line was called Amy. Close, but it looked to me like it was probably just touching the lines at the intersection. Yep. Yes. Mrs. Williams has one challenge remaining. Get eyes, Virginia. <laughs> Advantage canopy. What a turnaround. If she can take this the distance, he, she had served so much better in this second set, and she has got the ball away from Williams. Can she close here? Magnificent. Just had the had the feeling that as she'd served that perfect one out to the corner, she would probably go down the tee. Now I think Serena probably guessed that too. Now where does she serve? Hmm, that was a bit of a gift. This is always the hard uh, side to serve to either of the Williamses. Where do you choose to serve? Deuce. All the big points along the many years that we've watched Serena and Venus for that matter that return in the ad court at cr crucial moments seems to always be so good. Well, you have to take your hat off to these two. I mean, it's been a winner fest out here. 45 between the two of them over the course of what, just over an hour. It's gone very quickly. And Kanepi now with a third chance to close out this set. 
And she's got it. She won just half a dozen points in the opener. But what a turnaround from the Estonian. Kanepi takes the second set by six games to four. Well, everything still favours the six-time champion out here at the US Open. When she has won the first set, she has won on 87 occasions and has only lost twice. Managed to get an error from Venus, but boy, Venus, not Venus, Serena. even Serena, even. Easily done. <laughs> Serena got such a great angle on that previous shot. just missing by a little bit for Serena. I mentioned there were two players that have beaten Serena from a set down and it's both been both times have been on this court. Capriati back in 04, that match where there were so many bad line calls. One of the reasons why we have the technology now. And uh, how can we ever forget Roberta Vinci coming back from a set down two, three years ago now on the Arthur Ashe Stadium. It's good serve. So kanepi has got to go some to join uh, those, those two characters. That those were the two matches where she was a set up. She was. Right? A, so they came back from a set down. Otherwise, if she's a set up on this in the U.S. Open, she wins. And you talked about the champions being front runners. Uh, Williams uh, it com completely in that mold. That one was hit with feeling. It's always hard to believe when Serena's serve goes just a tiny bit off the boil. I don't know how she managed to change that direction. Sheer strength, really. Oh, that would have been a lovely change up. Three quarter pace kicker out wide. Just clipped. Did 
we have a speed gun on that sh yeah. forehand. I'm not sure we need one. She just clocked it, didn't she? I mean, you're talking. That that has to be up in the uh, in the. Oh, I'm just hearing. Actually, I was going to say in the 80s, at the high 80s, 89 miles an hour. So. Good shot. Yes. Seen it all before, haven't we? There's no one like Serena Williams. Well, when she starts roaring and uh, coming, come on and slapping her thighs, I mean, she is quite intimidating, is she not? But, you know, she has to manage to control that, that adrenaline and that getting so pumped up. She has to be careful not to get over pumped up. <laughs> it's the other side of Serena, isn't it? She looks so demure and represented tennis so well at the, uh, the recent Royal Easy. Wedding. And this is, this is on court, Serena. This is a different woman. Can she handle this? Serena coming at her at full bore. Oh, wow, a couple of really costly errors from the Kanepi racket. I mean, has she just let up a touch since she won that second set? Maybe she has, and it's just a little opening that Williams needed. And the American back in control now of this fourth round match. I would think Kanepi's going to really chide herself on missing those couple of shots. I mean, the last one, it was coming at her so hard that it was pretty hard to control at all. So.
It's the first time we've seen a drop shot, is it not? From Kanepi? Oh, no. Is it the second one? But she's so good at these touch shots, Kanepi. But, you know, when the ball's coming like a bullet at her, it's actually obviously really difficult to to change it and just do a feather shot. Actually, on that replay, Serena actually got there in plenty of time. Mm. Good serve. This match completely changed. Start of the second set when Kanepi broke Serena to 30 very easily, actually. Then was able to hold and uh, press home her advantage. She had a lead. It's very hard to see her playing catch up in this deciding set. Serena broken twice in that second set. And you feel that Kanepi has to get back on level terms right here. Oh, yeah, I think that three love is a very different story from two one. Not yet. On the other side of the net from Serena, you have to not only move your feet quickly, get your racket ready quickly, but you suddenly have to also think quickly. It's just coming all so fast at you. Clean as a whistle. And that is her fastest serve of the match. 118 miles. Not quite brand new balls, but pretty new. Any balls will do. And for Williams now, really striding away in this final set. Three love with the break. The American leads. Moving from Kanepi. Serena thought she might have had that point. It's a little casual. Yeah, what, one of uh, Serena's balls had been squeaked in on the line. I just wondered whether both of them had thought it might be going wide. obviously plays all her matches on this court so she's very familiar with it conditions today are warm but perfect 
it's supposed to get really hot again this week. Yeah, it's, it's actually been a great few days. The city has been very quiet. Everyone's away on their holidays, but uh, it all cranks up next week. Everyone goes back to work on Tuesday. I understand the kids go back to school on Wednesday, and it gets hot. It's going to be mad next week. Yeah. <laughs> so the traffic, too. Yes, the traffic. So 40 Love, uh, Kai Kanebi needing to just make a neat finish to this game. Okay, she gets... And how important it was for Serena to hold in that last game. Kanepi had a little chance. But she keeps herself really competitive in this final set. Well, the first game, Serena had to go to two deuces. And last service game, she was break point down. So Kanepi has got to remember those facts. She's got to make her fight for her serves. Getting a fair share of uh, second serves as well. Kanepi to return. <laughs> and sometimes I have to fault Kanepi on giving up on the point a little quickly. I mean, I, I can understand you have to pick one way, but she just left a huge gaping hole for Serena to hit. It's a good serve. So many of the aces are starting to flow now, and when they sort of dried up, was midway through that second set towards the end of it. That was very noticeable. Dean. Game Williams. Much easier service game that time. And Serena driving towards the finish line. Up a 4-1 break in this deciding set. to stem the flow of big shots from Serena. I don't know. I mean, we were looking at a picture of her at the changeover, and she seemed to be looking at the big screens. I mean, whereas Serena was deep in thought. I don't know what Kenobi's thinking. Nice point, though. She's, yeah. she's very. She's a hard woman to read, isn't she, Kaya Kanepi? At one, it's, at times she seems really, rather emotionless on court. Then she can be fiery. I think off court she's known as sort of you know lovely, but quite a, a complicated character to coach. I mean, very much likes to set her own agenda when she's working with the coach. She's certainly not one of those players that, you know, if the coach tells her to do something, she's not going to question it. But I can tell you, it's a very good effort to come out of Estonia, which doesn't have really any tennis history at all, and become a top 20 player, as she was five mm -hmm. or six years ago. Gulbis on the men's side. I think that might have been an, an or is that I Latvia? think that's a neighboring neighboring Baltic is that, country. Is that <laughs> Latvia, Latvia, Latvia. So, which is producing all sorts of players here? <laughs> there's somebody somebody else. in the same region. There's one other uh, I think there's somebody else, but no female players. They've got a few good discus throwers, have the Estonians. But not a great uh, 
and rich history of tennis players. She's uh, she's written that for them. Oh! Huge point here for Kaya. Suddenly gone a little bit rough and ready, this uh, tennis. It was going along very nice and competitively for a while, and then Serena makes some mistakes and she wins the game to love. Estonian still testing the champion and just keeping it to the one break. Williams leads four games to two, final sets. Having to hit the ball virtually on the line several times to win a point. So can she summon up the emotional energy and dig deep enough to try and defend against Serena's pace and accuracy? Played. It's also a physical test for Williams, only the fourth time in her comeback this year that she's been taking the distance. Most recently, overcoming Camilla Georgi in the third set at Wimbledon. But getting edged out in Cincinnati. To, uh, in a very fine match in the second round to Petra Kovitova. on that ball, but second serve, ace. can get her record onto the first serve. I think she's happier just blocking that flatter first serve than this nasty spin. 14, 15. Serena, one of the best at just giving that serve a little extra and you'll just see a, a fraction more knee bend just to up the pace, up the intensity. Ices the game with yet another race, her 17th of the match, and she is now within one game of the quarterfinal. she'd served 18 aces, she'd probably try to serve two more to make it an even 20. Don't bet against Serena n not knowing that number. <laughs> she might try and finish with a pair here.
three match points for Williams, who's been tested out here on Ash this afternoon. That's good enough. And Serena's still on track for title number seven.